first of all, rewind. Weeks leading up to before my, my mom and everything, everyone came in town, I was mentally preparing myself for birth because, you know, I wasn't so worried about the physical part, I was more worried about the mental part because honestly, going, getting through that laboring process is more mental than anything else if you want to like keep your composure and, and breathe through the contractions. So I was spending time listening to hypnobirthing affirmations and you know doing breathing techniques and stuff. I had a little app on my phone that I listened to every night. But from the time my mom, from the time I, I got a full house, I basically stopped doing all of that because there was just a lot going on and so now I'm in actual labor and I'm in the pool and I'm trying so hard to just you know repeat those affirmations in my head and you know even my fiance he thought that I wasn't using them but I think he thought that just because he couldn't hear me saying them and of course I'm in labor I'm not going to be saying any affirmations or mantras out loud everything was going on in my head and it was like more of a mental thing there were moments that I didn't even want no one to touch me like stop like let me get through this let me breathe through this and then you can continue breathing. but like I don't think he understood that but anyways it's a whole nother thing either way you know he was there supporting you know um my mom was there oh my gosh I think like my mother was irreplaceable i'm sorry that she was there i don't think i could have do that without her honestly but um <clears throat> so at one point he even like because i i wrote my own affirmation as well and i actually have it <laughs> he reads it to me saying that thinking that I, I wasn't like using it so he reads it out loud to me and that actually helped hearing it out loud from somebody else helped and you know at that point i was like kind of calm and just breathing or whatever Open up huge, I will not care. My baby will come quickly, I will remain calm and relax through the process. I will trust my body, I will take my time, I will breathe consciously. This feels good. You do a then you make that You were um, supposed to make like index cards or bigger cards with the affirmations and put it on the back. I know, my little best little savannah. So she could use those as focal points. Don't worry, just breathe consciously. So fast forward to when it's trying to push. I don't I was not keeping up with what time anything was happening, so all I know is when my labor started and what time my baby was born. That's it. So now it's time to, you know, start pushing or whatever and I didn't know how hard it would have been to push like I didn't I just thought that it would happen and I don't think I prepared myself mentally for the pushing process because honestly besides the pain pushing was the hardest part for me and I felt like I wasn't doing it or I, like I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do and I'm about to be very frank right now so you know if you think this is T this is gonna be TMI, just you know, mute the, mute the video at this point, or you know, you shouldn't be watching this if you think any of this stuff is TMI. It's natural birth. Okay, you're about to see some stuff, you're gonna hear some stuff. So now it's time to push. Cause at first I asked my midwife, like, how do I know when I'm supposed to start pushing? She was like, You'll know, your body is gonna tell you. So um 
until then I was just you know breathing through the contractions I was taking naps in between because I was so tired imagine like I I never went to bed that night I never went to sleep so I was up from the time I woke up 7 a.m. Friday morning I never went to sleep I was exhausted There's a particular sound that you will make. I could be anywhere in this house and I'll hear it. <laughs> so, um, when I felt that need to push, I started pushing, but I was pushing, I was trying to push. I don't know if this is gonna make sense, but I was trying to push through my vagina and not my butt. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> at one point you know i was pushing and i was like am i doing this right so my midwife decided to check me she inserted her fingers and told me to push so that she can tell me if i'm pushing correctly come on Come on. So I, and you know, she was like, yeah, you're doing it fine, but just let go, like, don't hold back. I was holding back because I felt like I needed to shit. So I was like, I feel like I need to shit. And she was like, well, you're going to feel like that, basically, you know, you're about to push out a baby. She was like, I was like, no, I really feel like I need to shit. So she was like, she checked and she was like, um, okay, so it's both. It's it's the baby but you you know it's also a bowel movement so you have two choices you can get out the get out the tub you can get out the pool and go to the toilet and try to take a shit or you can just let it out right in the pool and i'm just like i don't want to i don't want to go to the toilet and then mistakenly push my child out in the toilet but then i don't want these feces in the pool <laughs> yo this is, is just crazy so now I'm like thinking and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get out. Did I get out? I got out the pool at one point, but I don't think it was too shit. Breathe, 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 baby, come on. 
shitting in the water. Yeah. And when I did that, that's when I started to push correctly. Like, I was so busy trying to hold back the shit and push <laughs> that I wasn't giving it my all. So I let it all out. They cleaned up the water and, you know, we resumed or whatever. Uh, 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 time a contraction came and it was time for me to push I'm pushing in all these different positions and like the baby head is coming down but then it just slides right back up and then I push again and it's coming down and it slides back up again like this child did not want to come in this water she come on right here uh -huh. don't yeah. stop when you feel that yeah push into that push push <laughs> right there I can feel his head she was like she actually told me to touch she was like but like feel it his head is right there so she was like you know we probably need to like go to the bed and see if that works so I get out the pool and every you know I get on the bed or whatever and the bed was already prepared for this because you know you never know what could happen so my bed was already prepared for this with protectors and everything on it so now I'm on the bed, my mom is right there, my midwife is right there, my fiance is right there, and I am pushing with everything in me, no lie. My fiance is holding up my feet, which help. Again, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Yes, go. That's it. Push yes. against the 
burn. Ah! Here we go. I'm coming That's out. It. He's See, coming. Right there. And um, my mom and my midwife is like literally massaging the opening of my vagina so that I don't tear because that was one of my biggest fears was tearing. So I one of the things to prevent tearing is one, you don't push when your body isn't telling you to push in terms of you push when you're having a contraction because your contraction is literally your uterus pushing the baby down so if you're pushing when you're not having a contraction you're forcing it and you're more likely to tear yeah i took a break in class and um so every contraction i'm pushing and as i'm pushing they're massaging my the, the opening of my vagina and with olive oil and really massaging and massaging can kind of see in the video like my mom is there helping massage and which my mom she have delivered babies in the past so she knew what she was doing as well um so finally i gave one last push and his head is out push push come on push here we go here we go yes push go. push he come in here he come go 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 go, go. so we're looking at him right one more one mm -hmm. more here he comes. Come push, on. push. Don't give up. Go. Your Go. Push. 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 Yes, here he comes. Ah! Go. Push, push, push. He's out. Oh. He's out. Oh. Just one that's underneath her. Yeah. He's sleeping. Okay, there we go. Yeah. He's tired. Um, he's tired. Ladies, can you get another garbage bag for us yeah. just to put this in? Yeah, he's like an adult when he dies. Okay. Hey, Kylie, you recognize my voice? Mm -hmm. Seven hours. 
size four ounces, 21 inches long, and um, he was born at 2.51 in the afternoon. <sighs> Who should I do I make it out to? Meg Folsom. M yeah, Meg, M E G, and then Folsom is F O L S O M. S O L F F is in Frank, full. F O L S O M. S O M. M is in Mary. O M. Okay. That weighs in kilos? Yeah. Kilograms. Hey, buddy. <coughs> hmm? <laughs> he wouldn't keep his eye off his mommy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> seven pounds, three ounces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. I actually said seven five when I admitted mm -hmm. you in on the paper. The only reason I said that is because I was doing some research <laughs> and my mother like all her babies were seven something. Uh -huh. And he was no bigger than seven something. I like if you see the footage of like when they have his, um, they're, he's, they're washing his head, oh my gosh, I can't speak, they're washing his head, you see like it looks like a little cone, and that's because while I was pushing, at one point his head was just there, like his head was, some of his head was outside of my vagina, and the rest was in, so the, the, the um, it was cutting off some of the, I want to say circulation, but you know, baby's head is squishy at that time, so just there was just a little bit of swelling and it went down in like a couple days but uh born July 21st was a Saturday at 251 his name we didn't even have like we had names that we had a few names that we liked but there was only I had a few names I liked and then some that he liked and then two that we both liked so I decided I wasn't gonna name him until he was born and like I just held him in my arms and even that same day he, he we gave birth i still didn't like decide on the name we didn't name him until i think the next day and i had to like text my midwife the name so that she can put it on the documents for his birth certificate and stuff but yeah josiah mikai andrew josiah is a modern version of the name josiah and it means god heals and Mekai, which Kai means life or live in Hebrew, and Me, me. So his first and middle name means God heals my life. So yeah, 
that is my birthing story well the gist of it i didn't want to make this video too long which it probably is long i hope you guys enjoyed the footage that we did capture and um i really wish that my camera ladies captured more of the time after he was born they captured most of the footage was during my laboring and no one wants to see an hour footage of just me laboring so i did hope that i did wish that i got more of the footage like you know of him being on my chest for the first 30 minutes and stuff of them you know taking the vitals and stuff but that's fine um i'm happy with what we were able to capture <laughs> This is the start of me getting back to posting on a regular basis, so please do subscribe to my channel. Um, my goal last year was to reach 100 subscribers, and I did reach that goal. I know it seems mediocre, but you know, as a new YouTuber, what? That's weird, YouTuber. I'm not really a YouTuber. But, you know, when I first launched my channel, that was my goal, get 100 subscribers, yay! So now my goal is to get 500 subscribers and I'll really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. I would basically be posting more videos about hair, DIYs, and I'm, I am going to start sharing a piece of my life as a new mom because let me tell you, <laughs> you can read all the books in the world, get all the advice in the world, but this is a learning process like you learn as you go no lie and there are stories that i can share right now but it's not for this video <laughs> but um please do subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it share it um if you're a new mom or if you are about to give birth soon i do hope maybe this video inspired you in some type of way that you know your body is meant for this like as a woman, we have we have superpowers, okay? Nobody could tell me that women don't have superpowers. Our body are magic. <laughs> so, I do hope this inspired you to, you know, at least try to have a natural birth. If you've been having a healthy pregnancy with no complications, if you're not high risk, try it. Like, honestly, the next time I have a child, this is exactly how I'm going to do it at home, all natural, and attempt to have another water birth. Even if I don't have the baby in the water, I'm still going to make sure I have that birth in pool because it was helpful throughout my laboring process. But I do not regret how I gave birth. I wouldn't have it no other way. And um, there are certain things that I'm going to do differently next time, like not have a house full of people because that added a lot and I knew that I wouldn't have going to labor the day I did if my body wasn't under so much stop rambling now hope you enjoy and do subscribe and at the end of the day you know life as a new mom is just a learning process and I do want to start sharing that so if you want to see that type of contact content give this video a thumbs up love you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye I think this is the perfect time to introduce 
my baby is making fun of my son. Look, baby, look at the camera. Say hi. No? Say hi. I think he just woke up. He was downstairs with his dad. <laughs> no, he's staying there like, Mr. Drooly Drew, this is my chub chub. Say hi. Now you're gonna see. Now you're gonna be seeing more of him, right? Right? So for those of you who was wondering why I haven't been posting pictures, it was never my intention to post pictures of him right away. Like I, I always wanted to wait. I was. I don't know it's just a personal thing like I respect those who don't post sh pictures of their babies right away and I respect those who do because it's either end of a stick like it's either you're so in love with this little human that you don't want to share him with the world yet or you're so in love with him that you want to show him off and share him with the world it doesn't matter it's all about your choice and me and my fiance made a choice that we weren't gonna post him right away my fiance actually didn't want him posted until he's like five months I said three months so we kind of like compromised to four months <laughs> so he'll be four months this month on the 21st right oh my gosh I love him so much I love him so much I swear I tell him I love him like a hundred times a day right baby and don't mind him now he's a chatterbox okay he talks a lot I'm gonna see if I'm gonna ins I can insert some videos of him running his mouth. He talks a lot, right? Mwah. Okay, say bye. Say bye bye. Say subscribe to mommy channel. <laughs> you don't care. All right, peace out. Love you guys.